why don't we get into the profile of today's test. It is what we call a nominal flight profile. It's what you and I are going to be flying when we go into space later this year. It means that the capsule and the booster are going to lift off together. They're going to go up to 75 kilometers and the capsule is going to separate from the rocket continue up over 100 kilometers. That's when you're gonna get the three to four minutes of zero G freedom, the taking on those beautiful views. And then the capsule, of course, will come down under the uh, parachutes and retro thrust system that will create the air cushion just in the last milliseconds. The booster itself, of course, will continue up to its own apogee and come in for a nice soft landing just two miles north of where it's taken off from. <laughs> Mission Control has confirmed New Shepard has cleared the tower on her way to space from West Texas. Go baby go! You can follow along as she speeds up towards space. You see the top right corner of your screen. Bottom left corner of the screen is the altimeter. We're just about at max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Confirmed. And she continues to punch her way to space for the fifth time this rocket. Our next milestone here, Miko, main engine cutoff. The engine's gonna cut off, but it's gonna continue its ascent to space, both the booster and the capsule together. Main engine cutoff is confirmed. You can also see in the top right corner of the screen that the speed is coming down. Separation is confirmed. And we've hit Apogee. You see now that the speed went to zero. It's now speeding up again as the craft are coming home. And we're going to wait for the BE-3 engine to relight and bring her down for a nice soft landing. Look at that beautiful hover. Just magic. Look at that. And touchdown. There go the drogue shoots. And there are the mains, a bit of coning, but that is all right. Reefed and now full inflation of the parachutes. A nice stable descent, see it's 16, 15 miles an hour. Last milliseconds, we're gonna get the retro thrust system that's going to fire, it's gonna kick up the dust, but that's a nice air cushion for the payloads. I see our team has already left our center here. It's going off to, uh, to recover the capsule and there it is, touchdown. A beautiful, beautiful launch and landing of the booster and the capsule today. Incredible.